Good morning, Pastor Anthony here. You know, I've been uh, watching the news, and, you know, since we had the assassination attempt of President Trump. And, you know, I, I've been wrestling with, you know, what, you know, what to say. How do you respond to something like this? And, and some of the things, you know, we're seeing and getting hearing reports of is just mind-boggling. Our country is in uh, dire need of, um, well, at least Jesus. And, you know, that's one of the things we do here is we're sharing Jesus in life one mile at a time. But the people that has, you know, that has been on video saying don't miss the next time and just, you know, upset the pre President Trump didn't die it just it hurts me in my head I mean I just you know it's one of those help me understand right you know I sat back during the early parts of COVID um, when it took when it first started taking place you know I told people I was like listen I was like the mental health of so many are going to be hurt because of this of this disease and when you look at how rapidly our society has declined since you know 2019 is it should say mind-boggling but it's I mean it's it's just I seen it coming and I'm not the only one but <clears throat> yeah but one of the things that uh, that comes to mind is I also felt that God was telling me that there was going to be another great awakening when another one more revival uh, was going to break out and there have been a few indications that I thought was taking place but I don't think it has yet but I think it's coming and, uh, and I can't wait <laughs> and hopefully God uses me to be a part of it and maybe that's as part of what he's doing here but you know there's a whole lot of people waking up you know to the fact that you know Trump turning his head just that I mean this inch saved his life and uh, even himself gives credit up to God for you know protecting him you know, God clearly isn't done with this this man and um, he's definitely going to use him in mighty ways uh, you know is he perfect nope there ain't nobody perfect the only one man that's ever walked the earth that was perfect and that was Christ himself but we as a church, we as the people of the United States, you know, we need to continue to be bold. We need to continue to stand and continue to um, rely on God to get us through our every day, you know. And, you know, one of the things that I do and I live my life by is people, you know, who are... Uh, this, you know, stands for abortion and the trans, and, you know, and puts and just completely trashes out, you know, uh, our political leaders. Yeah, I don't shop their their stores. I don't listen to their music. I won't give them the time of day. And uh, we've seen this with a few companies that's tried this, and when the people stand up and speak out, you know it'll change and it's the same thing with society if we're speaking the gospel for you know praying in the restaurants before our meals and people where you know where others see this you know if they see christ living through us then lives are going to change it's going to bring the temperature down you know um, it's it's going to have a very positive impact on our societies we live in I think about one of the scriptures in Romans just popping in my head. It says, you know, God can use all things for the good of those who he loves and who he has called according to his purpose. And so, I mean, when you think about, um, <clears throat> you know, doing the right things, you know, you know when tragedy happens, when 
uh, stuff like this that happened in Pennsylvania happens. You know, a, a man, you know, shielded his his wife and his daughter and lost his life. <clears throat> and you know, seeing the outpouring of support for this family has you know been fantastic. And uh, we need to continue to pray for them, to pray for the, the others that was injured during this, and uh, you know, continue to pray for President Trump. But we also need to pray for the families that are affected. Um, I, you know, I, I was really you know, super proud of the people that was there at this rally. You know, you know the iconic you know, picture. I'm sure every one of you seen Trump standing there, you know, telling everybody to keep fighting. You know, to keep moving forward, and uh, you know, but the crowd just being very patriotic, you know, shouting USA, USA, you know, it's just like, you know, that's America, you know, we're strong, we stand firm, you know, but now it's trying to really interject Christ into this and know that our strength comes from Him, not of our own, you know, doing because, you know. We're a fallen, sinful nature. You know, that's our lives. That's who we are. I was going to tell you, we need to call out and, you know, need to make sure that people understand, you know, if they're going to get out here and cheer about the president and someone else getting shot, if they're going to say, don't miss next time, I mean, there's something mentally wrong with that. And sick, and we need to make sure that those people they, they don't need a platform. We don't need to, to hear from them. We don't need to post and play their uh, videos and, uh, and give them recognition because that's all they want. They just want they're just looking for attention, <clears throat> and they need to be ignored on that. And so, uh, but anyway, that's my two cents. Um, is we just need to continue to pray for our nation, continue to pray for those who are affected by what happened in Pennsylvania, and you know, and make sure you get out in November and represent you know represent our country, and you know, vote for those who are going to help be a part of the solution to put our country back on the track you know that it needs to be on, and. You know, and those who are dead set against it or you know, dead set on um, destroying our nation and tearing it down, it's time, you know, that we the people, our voices are heard. And, you know, we can change things. We just have to rely on God, continue to pray, continue to be diligent, you know, get back into church somewhere, you know, read your Bibles, you know, that's how we change things. That's how revival happens. That's how the positive overtakes the evil. You know, Satan only has as much power as we let him have. You know, and I've done teachings on it. But we can put a stop to the, the nonsense. I mean, you're not ever going to stop all the evil. But we can sure make it less noticeable. And change the the rhetoric that's going on. Uh, but anyhow, that's my two cents. Just wanted to throw this little short video up. You know, kind of give you, I also kind of give you a little quick update. Um, I'm still working on getting videos done. It's just, it's been a whirlwind. It's been crazy. A lot happening, and I'm behind. So I apologize for that. We will be getting stuff out uh, this week. Uh, we got a lot to catch up on. I started working on something yesterday. Um, you know, computer's being silly again, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but we've had a great time uh, with down you know, with the granddaughter, or the daughter with our grandsons, rather. Uh, had a lot of good, good stuff going on. So, but anyhow, uh, I'll update you later today when we uh, get this week's video started. We're on our way to Indiana. So, anyway, I will see you soon. Just, uh, hopefully, you know, this is, you know, kind of gives you a little perspective on where I feel, on how I stand, and, uh, and maybe give you some
things to think about, you know, uh, you know and don't allow, you know, our anger or emotions to override what we need to be doing. And so, you know, first, let's begin to pray for healing for our nation, you, you know, to pray for the, the division to subside. And then uh, move forward, and so and do it in the name of Jesus. So, anyhow, that's my two cents. I'll see y'all in a little while.